what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so we're going to check out botchamania 447 the latest botchamania just came out we gotta check this out guys been enjoying me checking out the series i'm gonna be going back checking out some of the older ones as well so be on the lookout for that i know it takes them a while to get out these botchamanias but appreciate all the love and support man on the channel road to 70k and let's get right into this botchamania hi it's kid bandit best wife in the world and you're watching Botchamania. I like these retro entrances. <laughs> Love these retro intros they do. Ladies and gentlemen, how we are? <laughs> oh, wow. He definitely almost busts his ass. Oh! <laughs> Oh, what the hell? <laughs> she turned into a little segment, a mini segment for the match. Oh, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> Always oh, his belt was upside down? Oh, uh, he, he definitely... <laughs> <laughs> he got stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> what was? Huh? What was that? What was? Yeah, that's that was a major box. Another botch. Oh, another, another botch. <laughs> he definitely overshot it and hurt himself. Oh. Hit his own man. But and I'll now tell Blake you this, Christian. Blake Christian don't miss, although he did miss that time. Yeah, he definitely missed. And then he Steps stepped on him. his opponent, determined to pull out this win. Back He's, to the top yeah, row. He doesn't want a glancing blow. He wants oh, to crush. God. He wants to fucking crush you. And he crushed him. Basic human stuff. You know what I think? You know what I think? Hmm? I think you talk too much. Blah, 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 blah. You talk too much. Never shut up. <laughs> I said you talk too much. Oh boy, you never shut up. Looks great. It feels good. Call me happy, these folks. Are, are happy new. Corbin on the left. Madcap, Madcap Moss on the right. He's sort of like the jester, Patty. We look amazing. Tells a lot of jokes. You're Last week he told one oh, about the Viking God. Raiders. How did the young woman oh, no. suffocate See, from body odor? I fucked this up. Oh. She took a liking to a Viking. <laughs> yeah, you definitely wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> yeah, there they are. Dude, you have no idea how happy it is. I am dripping in sweat. <laughs> what? What's up, Randy? First of all, where the hell have you been? Second of all, oh. no. Oh my God, how blatant that was. You hear the crowd, and then all of a sudden it cut to normal. Wow. I mean, it, it, the rumor is it, definitely true. 
WWE definitely be piping in crowd audio from time to time, for sure. It just backfired. Music of Pagano, urgente. Basura. Music of Pagano. What the fuck? I need my music right now. I what need the? my music right now. Come on, man. Vampiro calling for you. Where's the fucking music? Oh, the music. music. <laughs> Please, for the love of fucking God, put the music on. In <laughs> here at day one. Oh, I got another one. I got another one. Okay. Hey, where can you find a discount kill? I don't know. Don't ask me. Ask Bargain Basement Braveheart. Bargain Basement Braveheart. I, I'm with this crowd. I want love. We want love. One more. What? <laughs> but frankly, I'm much we more want worried love. about this. I found it in my house just <laughs> Oh my god. There. It's up to no good. Grayson. Classic it's cartoon. Just a table. Granted, you don't see them so much long. these days. Most people have the chair or those uh what you call it? Salad steel cage. Oh, on the tip of my tongue. Salad. <laughs> oh, table didn't break. Not typical behavior for household furnishings. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the table going rogue. Oh no. That is one bad table. Oh, wait a second. It's the rogue table. What are you doing? Oh my god. Penelope. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Table. The table didn't break, but the face of Ty Conti oh might go. Oh my god. What did you do to get this table so cheesed off? I <laughs> I put a wet glass on it without a coaster. Yep, that'll do it. Look at the blood on the table. There's blood drops on the table. Going to put These are the rogue tables that don't that break. Table. Oh, oh, that one did. And the table collapsed under the weight of Ty. <laughs> Not the holy S chat. Just the table just dropped under his own weight. Dutch is 400. He's 400 pounds. I mean, that just illustrates what a monster and a beast of a human being or whatever he is. So foul table. The weed of crime bears <laughs> I like fruit. this. Hey? This is dope. The Taz. Taz says me. Love it. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. He's deceiving, man. He plays possum. Oh, goal oh. versus. Holy cow. Whoa, my God. Rainbuster on the knee. No. Wow, Orange Cassidy landed on the back of his head. That was nasty, wow. guys. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look at his impact of the back of the head and neck area. Or, of Orange or Cassidy. Santa Claus, whatever comes first. Or we can just take a look later at what happened to Orange Cassidy. <laughs> just take that out. And, well, you get it. <laughs> Adam Cole looking to keep the pressure. Hereby declare today, January 1st, 2022, the day where so curvy, tongue tied, tongue tied, circle, so circle. What the hell? Y'all are great, man. Right hand, got a disgusting hammer fist delivered by the icon Sting and MJF. Oh, oh, oh no. MJF oh, is no. On his head. Oh, my God. I hope oh, he's okay. Crap. I'm fine. It's punk you should be worried about. Stay to, stayed away from me like a coward. That that's good how he stayed within character. That's uh, he nice. landed really hard oh on his head. Oh my god, that was horrible. Dang it, I was sure I had him that time. Think about how <laughs> gets in control and then she she shuts down her offense a little bit. She doesn't take a zillion chances. She's not living on the top rope, diving and jumping on somebody. I'm sure her buddy Lars Fredrickson of Rancid is watching on. That's Ruby's buddy, not, not Jade's buddy. Oh, did I say Jade's buddy? <laughs> the love of God. Oh, <laughs> I knew what I was talking about. I just know how to say it. 
Oh man, I, I like how they create these little moments with actual fans in the crowd. I like that. When it comes to like games and stuff like that. Resident Evil 4 sucks. Ah, oh, forget this. These nerd wrestling signs have gone way too far. Hey, yeah. You know what? <laughs> I'll take the video down myself. Ah, there we go. That should do it. <laughs> I love that. This video contains New Japan Pro Wrestling footage. That would take. That would get the video taken now with the quickness. Trust me. I know. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, I don't know why that person says Ray, uh, Resident Evil 4 sucks. I don't, that's a wild opinion, but uh, I like what they did there. YouTube, YouTube, here, boy. Here, boy. YouTube. <laughs> I love that. Right, cheers, pal. Next segment. It's been 83 weeks with Eric Bischoff. <laughs> Eric, what's going on, man? How are you? Next up, one of the more memorable matches on the show, Rick Rude and Rick Flair. Flair comes off the top. Rude gets to uh, gets his feet in Flair's face. Flair comes back with chops. Then we have two ref bumps. Rude pulls an object out, but Flair back suplex him, and the object goes flying. A, st a TBS still photographer at ringside, not realizing what was going on, grabbed the object. The photographer had to give the object back to flair so he could use it and get caught by referee Randy Anderson for the DQ. Mm. God almighty. What a mess. <laughs> mm. Man, that, that, I don't know. I just, it's hard for me to get excited about a match when the finish is that screwed up. Son of <laughs> that was a box finish. Forearm to the back of the head of Stevens. Osborne in control now. What? what? Uh, okay then. We had a little bit of uh, a little bit of an audio issue there momentarily. Whoa! Yeah, that was weird. A title on a pole, kind of. I like how she someone tried to go in the character and tried to get the belt from him anyway, which you would think someone would do. Yeah, just beat on her. Beat on her. Continue to beat on her while he puts the title back up there, bro. Oh, and she's going. She's going up there <laughs> while he's holding the title. He almost falls himself. So they're still trying to get the title while he's hanging the title up. Ah! He's still trying to hang the title up. So she just takes it. Fuck it. And she wins. And modern problems require <laughs> modern solutions. Oh, man. Hey, it's Adam Bibolo here from the Attitude Era podcast, the show where we look back at the Attitude Era and WWE's many attempts to cash in on its success. On that show, you will oftentimes hear me talking about books written by wrestlers or written about wrestlers, mm. including things like Journey into Darkness, WWE's lovely fictional novel about Glenn Kane. And Matthew has very kindly asked me here today to read a little bit from Stealing Life, Cheating Death, The Eddie Guerrero Story by Eddie Guerrero and Michael Krugman. My first WrestleMania appearance wasn't exactly a five-star classic. Probably the most memorable thing about our match was China's wardrobe malfunction. 
I was going for a power bomb, but she escaped, splitting her pants in the process, then hit me with a power bomb of her own. Her butt was hanging out as she grabbed my cojones and pressed me into a choke slam for the pin. I wasn't especially <laughs> shocked when there was trouble with China's costume. She was having problems with it before the show, so I kind of knew something like that was going to happen. Usually that kind of thing is funny, but not at WrestleMania. On such a big night, the atmosphere is very intense, and everyone is just too focused to see the humour in anything. The next night's roar at the Staples Center in Los Angeles was much more significant for me, career-wise. I cut a promo on China before my European Championship match against her friend Chris Jericho. Take it easy, Mama Cita, I said. I know you're here really because you want some Latino heat. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, last night you were practically coming out of your pants at the sight of me. <laughs> I, I like that. The match was also pretty eventful. Jericho hit me with a drop toe hold, sending me flying into referee Tim White. China went to check on him, and seeing he was still unconscious, she dropped down and counted me out. She raised Jericho's arm in victory, but then surprised him with a low blow and a DDT. China handed me my first WWE title belt, then threw her arms around me as the crowd booed and jeered. Later on in the show, we got into an orange lowrider and left the building. <laughs> the Latino Heat era had officially begun. Oh, I love Thanks it. Thanks for watching, folks, and remember love to check it, out man. the Action Era podcast wherever you get your podcasts. And don't forget, Ryback wrote a self-help book. Huh. Wow, didn't know that. I don't know. Simon, stop. Where am I? You're in Atlanta, Georgia. What? It's a, it's a, it's a... Morning, team, and nothing here is stable. Proceed with care, but don't delay. Simon, yes. sidestep to your left. <laughs> you were never very good at maneuvering, were you? Thank you, fuck you, bye, boom! Oh my god. Gable? Yes? Yeah. Uh, I don't think anybody is watching, so could you tell me real quietly what that letter is? X. Hmm? X. What? What was that? It was supposed to be a secret. It is X. Oh. Grover, I'm going to get you for this, bro. <laughs> really, bro? Really? That was the thing? I love it. <laughs> Smoke me great. <laughs> and of course, if you're not down with that, we got two words for you. <laughs> hey, it's me, it's 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 man, and this is this is what happened. The show. All right. <laughs> you see, I have come. Y'all are childish. Send hook. Y'all are so childish, bro. I swear. I love it though. I love this. This is this is entertaining. Not Taz. And who didn't believe I could do it? Who amongst us has got the law? So the good news is church revenues are up 1,073%. And when will the church see any of this money? When hell freezes over, suckers! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Do uh, whatever. Oh, this is terrible. Mm. Oh, God, I'm not doing a good job. Exactly. You're a bad artist. Oh. You should have been like your father, an eraser maker. This family doesn't create. We are race. We are the nubbins. Nubbins are race. Oh. Give up now. Actually, I think your art is great. Oh. But I have bad taste. <laughs> you look a little worried. Are you scared I'm going to drop them? Not the... <laughs> I remember that, bro. <laughs> he punished the shit out there. Fake baby. All right. <laughs>
tomorrow on Rock Bottom. He legitimately punted that, that fake baby doll. <laughs> He's a perverted foreigner. He's Rowdy Roddy Peeper. What the? Oh, that man is sick. And you could have your choice of men, but I could never love again, cause he's the only one for me. Eugene! <laughs> I had to have this tone with you, my happiness depends this is on great. you, <laughs> you decide you do. Eugene! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fact they mixed this up with this song. Bob Regal, man. Oh, oh my God. This was this was hilarious. I love this. I love checking out the Botchamania series. I will be checking out more. Comment down below. Let me know your favorite segment from the video. The Eugene one is getting me. <laughs> Your place is going crazy. Eugene! Eugene! And I love the 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 chicken into the pot creating the smoke and the heads coming out. I like that meme. That shit's hilarious. Appreciate all love boy. Rose is 70k. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.